Take one. Good day, folks. I'm Mick from Iron Fem. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Good day, folks. I'm Mick Van Sale from Iron Man 4x4. Winches are a great get out of jail card when you get really stuck. And when you're really stuck and you don't have a winch, well, my friend, it's a big dig. The problem with winches, however, is that we don't use them very often, unless you get stuck all the time, in which case you need to look at your technique a bit. They sit out in the front of your vehicle, in your bull bar, or on top of your bull bar, exposed to the elements for months on end, and nobody pays any attention to them. So it makes sense to do some maintenance on your winch to ensure that when you click the button that they actually do operate. It all starts with the installation of the winch. Absolutely ensure that your winch is installed by a competent professional four-wheel drive workshop. A winch is essentially a large motor driving a gearbox which drives a drum which rolls in a cable or a synthetic rope and pulls you out of trouble. This motor is switched by a very heavy duty solenoid, a solenoid that's normally contained in what we call a winch control box. Now in the olden days, these solenoids were barrel type solenoids and they were very susceptible to corrosion due to moisture. The latest Ironman 4x4 Monster winch features a solid state solenoid, so there are no ex external moving parts, so no chance of that corrosion. You also notice that these wires are very, very thick. They need to be because the amp draw from that motor is very high. It's similar to the starter motor on your vehicle. Therefore, also note that a winch must always be connected to the cranking battery of your vehicle and not the auxiliary battery. The cranking battery was made to do just that, take a heavy hit for a very short period of time. And bear in mind that when you are winching, that your vehicle is running, so the alternator is constantly feeding that cranking battery. Otherwise, you'll have a flat battery and not be able to start your vehicle. It's important that the wiring that is used is of the correct gauge and that the correct length of wire is used, only what's necessary. Also, that the wiring is run in such a manner that it doesn't foul on the chassis or the body of the vehicle and cause any short circuits in the electrical system. In the event of any deep water crossings, or if you happen to travel from Joburg to Cape Town and it rains all the way, there is a very good chance that you might get some moisture into the motor or the gearbox of the winch. And it's a very good idea to very soon after such an event, run the winch out with the motor, do it two or three times, I like to do it three times. This will dispel any moisture that might have gotten into the gearbox or the motor. In short folks, make sure the winch is installed properly and run it as often as you can, especially if you've dunked it in the river. That poor winch is sitting out front of your vehicle all alone, just waiting for a chance to impress you. I promise you, you're not gonna be impressed when you push the button and nothing happens.